In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you the new Bad Cat Black Cat amp. Now, why that's important is Bad Cat amps have decided to revamp their entire line of amplifiers with four new amplifiers. So they're going to have a new version of the Bad Cat Cub, the Bad Cat Lynx, and the Bad Cat Hot Cat. Those are three amps they had before, but they've revamped them entirely and uh, made them new. However, they added a new amp called the Bad Cat Black Cat. Let's talk about some of the changes first. Obviously, it's a new look for Bad Cat. So the one thing I love is that they went ahead and they changed the Bad Cat logo. If you remember, the Bad Cat used to be really big and then it had the two cat eyes. And now there's no cat eyes and the logo has been shrank to be a lot smaller to be more classic, although still lights up. When I say new, this model never existed in the old lineup. It is a 20 watt, two EL84 class AB configuration two channels that's right two absolute channels with clean and overdrive channel dedicated volume and master so there's a volume and master control for each channel then there's a global treble and bass and a cut control so we'll be going over that because that's a different thing than you're used to if you're used to just a typical three band eq studio quality reverb it comes with a compact foot switch the foot switch lets you switch between the two channels and turn the tremolo on and off. Obviously it has a tremolo included. A buffered effects loop, line level output, three 12AX7 preamplifier tubes, custom hand wound bad cat transformers. This is the combo, but that comes in ahead and they're identical in every way, except for the combo comes with a bad cat selection speaker that's actually made in the UK. So it's basically a V30. It's just a little bit configured a little bit differently for bad cat. It comes with a padded slip cover with an embroidered logo. Of course, a power cable and a five year warranty that's transferable and three years on the speakers, six months on the tubes. They're designed in Costa Mesa, California and hand built in Costa Mesa, California. So this is a made in the USA product. As some of you may know, I preview my videos to my patrons first and let them make suggestions or ask questions. And one of the predominant questions was when I said that they're handmade in the USA, is that hand wired? Well, Bad Cat was kind enough to send me this picture. To the right is a hand wired Bad Cat amp and you can see how that's done. It's actually wired with just the components hand wired. To the left is a hand built amplifier. So what does that mean? Their hand built amplifiers use the same detail and premium components as their hand wired series. However, they they feature a PCB board. Now, what's important to mention is those boards are also made in the USA and what they allow the employees to do is use them as a template to then hand solder on all the components onto that board. They also come with their hand weld transformers. They also come with Baltic Birch USA made cabinetry. So they're making an amplifier that's made here in the USA with as many USA components as possible. So first, I just want to play this amp and talk about it. If you hope you don't mind, I have my SG here plugged in. I have it mic'd up with an SM57. I also have a room mic and I balance the two to kind of give you the fullest kind of feel how it sounds in the room. Uh, today I'm going to be running the amp quite, quite loud, uh, loud enough to, uh, uh, louder than my voice, loud, but not maybe gig volume loud, but who knows. Let's go ahead and with the clean channel. Let's talk about reverb. First thing is that even though this is an 100% tube amplifier and it's all tube, except for one thing, the reverb is digital. Now it's digital reverb for a couple reasons. One, they wanted to have a big lush kind of reverb. Listen to the reverb on Max on this for a second. kind of more based off a hall or maybe a plate they don't really say um, but it's definitely a beautiful sounding reverb now one of the benefits to having a digital reverb is that when you switch channels to the overdrive the reverb is dampened just a little bit so if you have the reverb here if you switch over to the overdrive with your foot switch or by your hand when you go to the uh, overdrive it will just downplay the reverb just a little bit the other thing that's important to understand is that this effects loop which is buffered uh, is interesting because the reverb is not in is running parallel with the effects loop. So let me explain that. That means if you run a delay pedal in your effects loop, instead of running your delay pedal into your reverb or reverb into your delay pedal, 
uh, they will run parallel of each other. So they don't muddy each other up. There's a lot of cool pedals on the market that have the ability to be reverb and delay at the same time in parallel. It's a beautiful, beautiful feature. It really adds clarity to the amp. So that's another reason why it's digital because of the fact that they don't have to put it in the effects loop. Now you do have a tremolo that is analog. <laughs> about this is this is after the effects loop so if you plug in a uh, delay or something like that it's going to go in the effects loop and then it will go into your tremolo so your tremolo is uh, in the is in the effect loop effects loop in series basically like go effects loop into that so so that i hope that makes sense this uh, effect the uh the tremolo is foot switchable and it works on both channels both overdrive and dirty no both overdrive and clean sorry uh, speaking of clean, the reason why I said that is because I got it in my head, overdrive. Let's take the clean and let's make it overdrive. So it has a gain control. The clean has a gain control. is important is because sometimes you want the clean to be very clean with a lot of headroom but one of the nice things about having a 20 watt amplifier that has a gain control on the clean channel is that you can get a little bit of breakup and if you want just a little less breakup which is what i prefer here that's really good if you run a fuzz through it it doesn't give you that kind of fuzz through a clean fender amp kind of vibe it gives you more of a fuzz through a martial tone where you get a little bit more thickness and bite and it's also nice to run gain if you're running uh, different kinds of guitars to get different tones. I will do a strat through this uh, in, a, in a little bit after we get through the features. The most important part that we need to talk about is the EQ. It is different. First, the bass control. The bass control does what you think it would do. Right? Adds bass. Takes bass away. Treble control is different. It's a very different kind of, uh, kind of idea. Uh, fully on this way. You're gonna get this thin, bright sound. Almost makes this guitar sound like a Strat. Just to give you an idea, let's go ahead and turn this the other way. Watch what happens, same riff. Back one more time. And that is because as you turn the uh, treble counterclockwise, you're getting more mids. And you get a lot of push. It feels like the speaker's moving, all of a sudden the room's moving. Sounds kind of flowing. Like it right about there. Now I know what you're thinking that, but if you kind of cocked it over, now you got this kind of mid thing. Well, that's why they have a cut control. Now the cut control cuts high. So on cut all the way to the left, that's all your highs. Turn it all the way to the right. That's none of your highs. Kind of works like a tone control on the guitar. If you don't mind, I'm going to go back to more of a clean. channel let's go ahead and start with the gain uh, halfway it does something that's really really cool it gives you this big mid kind of punch lots of I want to say throttle but lots of power <laughs> And 
every volume level because it's just punching. <laughs> Just has that, and especially with that, that that reverb. And of course, without reverb. And you'll find you'll probably find a sweet spot with the reverb between the clean channel and the dirty channel, like I did. What I love because of the way they did the reverb, it doesn't muddy up the, the growl of the amp. Okay, now I know we could turn the gain up a little bit, but instead we're gonna turn it all the way up. Let's go ahead. Okay, so we run the gain now in between, that was the between halfway and full. So definitely hard rock maybe you could get metal out of it. It's really percussive like a Marshall. It doesn't have a Marshall tone. It doesn't have a Fender tone. Um, obviously, uh, you can imagine I can get pretty much everything I need out of it to compete with my 65 uh, Deluxe Reverb because it has the tremolo, has the reverb, has a clean channel, it's ultra clean. It's a little more mid-driven than that amp. You know, Fender's kind of scooped out a lot of highs and a lot of lows. This has more of the mids in that category that I like. And then of course the overdrive is just sick. But let's go ahead and change guitars. So here's an exact opposite guitar. This is the Fender Strat. And notice it pushes the reverb a little differently. So now you can be a little bit more aggressive with the reverb again. Let's go ahead, full gain. Okay, this is full gain on the amp with a strat. Here we go. Let's go ahead and play the clean channel. start with the tremolo.
Now what I want to do is take the gain. This is the gain on the clean channel. And you're going to notice that on the gain, as we increase the gain, we're kind of darkening the amp a little bit so you don't have to worry about it getting brighter and clangier. Another question that came up on the Patreon preview was how does it sound at bedroom quiet volumes? And it sounds fantastic. It can get as loud as you need it to be to play with a drummer and it can be as quiet as nighttime play if you live in even in an apartment. If you listen right here, you can actually hear my pick noise and it's louder than the distortion you're hearing. So let's talk about the prices. Uh, my understanding is that the head is about $2,000. So like $1,900 and change and the combo will be slightly above that. So not necessarily an affordable amp by any means, but we've definitely shown that it's, it's made in the USA. It's got a lot of features. Obviously it's hand built. There's a lot of things going on there. And then of course they have other models. Like I said, if you think that you'd find more gain, there's a uh, hot cat that has dual reverbs and more gain. There's a Lynx that has a way more gain uh, and no reverbs. And of course there's the Cub 40. If you're interested in me doing reviews of those amps, just let me know. I've played them all that one day, except for the Lynx. I actually have never played the Lynx. That's the only one, but I played the other two and I really liked them. And it was really tough for me. For me, one of the things that kind of led me to this amp was there was things about the Cub. There was things about the, the, uh, hot cat that I really liked, but this amp was kind of like a little in between those. <laughs> so I kind of liked that. I kind of liked, it was like, okay, it had some of the more gain, like the hot cat, but it had some of the punchy cleans that I liked uh, from the uh, Cub. And uh, they do all have an aesthetic difference now. So you'll be able to see that too as well. So that's the new Bad Cat. So obviously this is here to stay. And we're gonna be using it in a ton of videos from now on because this is a great one-stop shop amp for me uh, when I'm doing content. You know, I can just plug in a guitar, get a clean sound, um, get a good clean sound, get a good overdrive sound. So if you're thinking about getting the head, you can either pair it with their cabinet or if you already have an existing cabinet and you're worried about this not sounding good with yours, I can tell you with, with great confidence that if you have a cream back or a V30, this head will love those speakers as much as this speaker and maybe even more. So there you go with that. And then uh, other than that, I have to say I'm blown away with what they did. Uh, it's really impressive. I definitely think they're, they're in it to win it and I uh, can't wait to see what they do next. As always, guys, I wanna thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Till the next time, know your gear.